った。Hello, everybody, and、uh, welcome to episode 42 of Why Would You Show Me This? I am Will. And I'm Danny. And、um, for this week, it was an interesting pick. Yep.、Um, I'm currently in a watch of all of the Hellraiser franchise.、Mm-hmm. Uh, I had only seen the first Hellraiser, and then I watched Hellraiser 2, and I decided to just keep going because it's one of the few horror franchises I have not watched. Right.、Um, and Danny said, fuck it. Let's make our next episode whatever Hellraiser movie you're on. Yes. Well, there was, there's, this one in particular has a ridiculous title, so I was, I was glad to,、uh, to include this one. Yeah, this is probably one of the worst <laughs> subtitles I've ever fucking seen. It's pretty bad. Hellraiser Deader. All right. Deader. Deader.、Um, Not more dead. Not more dead. Deader. Deader. And not even, you don't even understand what it is. And in the movie, it doesn't even mean what you think it means. It doesn't really.、Um, God. Hellraiser, the Hellraiser series, well, I'll get into it. It's just, it's, it's interesting to, to really delve into it because it's really just a bunch of blunders and what the fuck、mm-hmm. and what were they thinking about doing this.、Um, but I will read the synopsis. Uh, shout out to Danny's sister,、uh, Natalie, for lending me all of the Hellraiser movies. She has all of them. And I was very happy that she did. Yes. Thank you, Natalie. That helped out a lot. Yes. Hellraiser Deader is the latest, most terrifying chapter in the wildly frightening Hellraiser legacy. Once again, the ultimate evil, the dreaded pinhead, Doug Bradley, of the Hellraiser franchise. <laughs> Leads an army of the dead who come back to life with a bloodthirsty vengeance. That's not really right. No. For an undercover reporter, Carrie、uh, Wurrer? Wer- w U H R E R? Who cares? Wurrer? w o r e r It's Dozen. <laughs> From Prophecy Uprising, who becomes <laughs> entangled with the deadly underground group responsible for the malevolent resurrections, any moment could be her last. With Pinhead in all his gory glory, you know,、Mm-mm. the thrilling villain you love to fear delivers another hellish nightmare you'll never forget. He's in it for. He's in it for probably all of 10 to 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Like the last two in the series. Yes. Which I'll get to.、Um, produced by Stan Winston. And there's really nothing in the film, not too many scenes, which really. Would say, would say Stan, this is Stan Winston.、Mm-hmm. Stan Winston had something to do with this. Yeah,、um, it's weird. It's,、yeah. it's a little disappointing. Well, actually, it's a lot disappointing. Yeah. Look, that's not even in the movie. That's not in the movie. Wow. Dud Bradley looking, his, looking on the front cover to try to like, look like he's inter- like into, he into what he's、shit. doing. Yeah. Which, he doesn't. At the, I think by this point,、uh, it was just like, yeah, I'll take the money for. I'll take as. You're giving me lots of money for this one day's worth of work. Sure.、Mm-hmm. I'll do that. Yeah, all of his combined time、yeah. would be a day shoot. Yeah, yeah. For this one, for the past two.、Mm-hmm. Um, you just kind of phoned it in, huh? Yeah. Is that, do you think maybe why they ended up getting a new actor? No, I think. I don't know. Maybe Doug wanted too much money at a certain point. Well, and maybe they were kind of like, you're kind of old. No. Well, that too, but with the makeup, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's true. That's so, true.、Um, this movie.、Uh, it's a movie. It's a, mo- it's a it, movie. It's a movie, but it's,、um, it's, it's a really bad movie. Yeah. It does what the last two in the series have done, where they have basically. Hellraiser 1 through 4.、Uh, Pinhead has a big. You know, presence.、Mm-hmm. He, he's a really big part of the story. And when it comes to, seems, seems like every other movie since, part, since Bloodline,、mm-hmm. he is just a background character to come in for 10 minutes to be like, you've led a bad life. You're coming to hell or, or whatever. A、mm-hmm. uh, 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 morality tale.、Mm-hmm. At least the last two were. This one, not so much. Right.、Um, so in this one,、uh, our lead actress, Carrie Wooer. <laughs> Just call her Carrie. Carrie. I, I don't know how to say her name. I know she's been in other things. I've seen it in other films. Just call、before. her by her character name if you have to. What's her character name? <laughs> I 
I remember Marla, but that's not her. Marla was the other girl. Her name. What's her stupid name? Oh, God. What is her name? An undercover reporter doesn't even say the actual character <laughs> name. Because it doesn't matter. Oh, God. Yeah, we can't even remember. We just watched it. Okay. They. I don't think they say her name very much. Um, to be fair. She's a reporter. The movie opens with her just playing dead in a crack house. I mean, I don't know if she's playing dead. It's, here's the truth. Playing passed out? I don't know if it's... It's never clear if she's, like, a reporter that really does the stuff in order to write better about it or not. I mean, that's the feeling I got, especially, yeah. like, her waking up and she seemed to be kind of, like, out of sorts. She did she woke, try to she's seem... like, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Where yeah. she seemed kind of surprised. So maybe she's just a... Like I said, maybe she's just like she's in. She she goes and she lives it, she's and then method, she writes about it. She's a method it. journalist. Oh my god! Yeah, um, and guess and the title of her fucking article was "How to Be a Crack Whore." Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. <laughs> I guess the whole it's, opening it's very empowering. The whole yes, <laughs> right? Yeah, the whole opening supposed to show. Oh, she's a badass woman reporter. She doesn't take anybody's shit. Yeah, she's she got like she three anybody. ears, three piercings in her ear. And she's and badass. She, and she wears a leather. She's a leather. Jacket yeah, she's and hardcore. Wears boots. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. take shit from nobody. She doesn't listen to her boss at work. <laughs> she just fucking does what she wants. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, for whatever reason, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess it ties into her backstory. Um, but we get that her her head the head of the newspaper shows her this videotape of uh, a cult in which a woman shoots herself and then she's brought back to life by the cult leader. Yeah. Um, and then she's sent off to Romania because it's cheap to make movies. There. That's exactly what you said. <laughs> and they're like, we're sending you to Romania. You're like, because it's cheap to make movies there. Because it's cheap to make movies there. Miramax said, go the fuck to Romania and make us a direct-to-video Hellraiser movie that will make money. Sort of. Well, it probably did make money. I mean, I bet that a lot of people rented it. This came out when there were still video stores. Um, I'm sure that a lot of people bought it. It's you know, Pinhead is a great character, um, and people hope that they make a good movie with him. Did no. not do that with this one. Um, I want to mention the uh, the lead actress. Yes, she's not very good. She she's not great in this role. No, I think she might have been miscast. Um. Maybe I don't know. I, I this is gonna sound weird, but I feel and the, the, like I said, it's sound weird. I get malignant vibes from this because of how over the top some certain things are in this film. There, there that are, are done in malignant, yeah, like on purpose, yeah. So there are there is one specific <laughs> scene in which she is going way over the top, and yes. it doesn't feel real. It she, feels she actually, very comical. She does it a lot. I mean, she screams. No! She's she does that and she just screams yeah. throughout the entire film. There's a lot of screaming. And her. I I we should have had a counter of how many times she wakes up. A good amount of times. At yeah. least at least three. There's so many at least three or so four. many shitty fake outs and cop outs of yeah. like, oh, it was a she was dreaming. And it's just But like, then yeah, but then it's a, kidding. The movie's also like, was she dreaming? What the fuck was she doing? Oh no, that's way too much credit for this film. Well, was no. She dreaming? Well, no, no, no. no. She the, the, the fact that the movie um, uh, didn't clearly like let you know what the fuck was happening at all in what that was. I guess. Like, like she's in Pinhead's world, and or she, or was she actually sleeping? What is uh, what is what's happening? Here's a better question: Who fucking cares? At a certain point, you know, like thirty minutes into the movie, I was like, okay, it's not like insanely terrible because the one before this hell seeker mm -hmm. was not good um and i di i didn't really have anything to like about that one mm -hmm. uh but this one beats that one well, that's good I guess. um no i mean like in terms of i don't like i actually oh. like hell seeker more than this one at this point oh wow okay this one was just so bland mm -hmm. and uh it didn't like i could see with with the two before this Hellraiser is supposed to be like, you know, Hellraiser, I can always, Pinhead is supposed to be like, um, <laughs> Pinhead is supposed to be like a mortal, a mor morality figure 
Yeah. Um, uh, spoilers for the past two Hellraiser movies before this one. <laughs> it's very Jacob's Ladder. Mm-hmm. It's very, the, uh, the main person has done something bad and we find out that they did something bad at the end of the movie mm-hmm. through Pinhead. Mm-hmm. Um, this movie, not so much. No. Yeah, this movie definitely st- strays away from that. But there is a whole, our char- our main character has a backstory that we don't know about. Mm-hmm. But it's not her being an asshole or her being a horrible person. It's... No, but she is, I will say, fairly unlikable though. She She just kind of exudes this uh like aura of like nothing can touch me kind of yes. thing and that i think that is the maybe the thing that's supposed to be like oh but something will you know what i mean but i, I don't guess know. well we got the whole thing where she was abused by her father i guess when she True. was a kid which which they hint at not so vaguely throughout most of the movie there's i don't i can't even tell you how many times they they show that flashback so many times it's at least so many times. it's at least five times that they so show many it. times so um let's talk about the one part that you did say you did like okay uh she is at some point sent to a train in the subway in and the it subway. is the last train and it has been apparently taken over by the dregs of society yes um, and you said you enjoyed that. I did because um, I, I liked the set dressing of that. I liked all the people that were in it. I liked the general. There, was, uh, there wasn't a huge like vibe or atmosphere to this movie to no. me. Except for that part. Yeah. You got an atmosphere out of that because it was so encompassing. You yeah. Know what I mean? And, and it's such a small area. But I feel like they did a really good job. I feel like. And I feel like that's something that, you know, granted, that wouldn't probably happen in reality because you can't take over a, you know, a subway no. train like that. No. But... Maybe you can in uh, but, in Romania. Who but knows? But also, like I, I was going to say, like, it almost seems kind of realistic that you could stumble upon something like that. Yeah. And so... And it was interesting. It was probably one of the most interesting parts of the movie. Exactly, yeah. Um, especially when, when we come later back to this train. Mm-hmm. It's, it's something different. Mm-hmm. Um. There's that scene. Uh, there is also the any other scenes that were very memorable to you besides the one with the main actress that we was very over top over the top. I mean, I really, I really like the uh, her slipping around and in, in her her own blood in the bathroom and her just. Screaming. Well, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah that scene. I, I mean, I like that scene and I don't. You know what I mean? I mean, it's it's it's, it's, it's over the top. It doesn't it doesn't fit the mood that it wants you to. Get, get into no um it's more it's way it's comical it is it's yeah. very comical she just has a knife in her back and she's like ah she's just freaking out and like hitting shit and yelling i was and it was to me a little reminiscent of like saw especially in the editing yeah and, like, the fast editing the fast movement and her trying to get it out of her back and yeah all that. So, i think saw definitely helped give this movie its uh look Mm-hmm. The visual, it's very grimy. Yeah, very grimy and the I miss, colors. I and... miss that a lot. Uh, I do, I really do miss that. I mean, I miss grime, but I don't miss the way that Saul portrayed grime because everybody stole that and then used it in their movies. It's true, it's true. Um, but I, I still miss it because I feel like so many movies now are just so clean looking and it doesn't it doesn't take me into that. You yeah. know what I mean? I understand. I've experienced grime a hell of a lot more than I have sterility sterility yes and so <laughs> i skew to towards that more yeah i understand so i like that yeah this uh cinnabites are in it for about as there long really isn't as pinhead. any yeah they're 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 even less than pinhead they are and they're not even like featured heavily or anything no which is a misstep i mean all the good hellraiser films have good cinnabites and interesting cinnabites mm-hmm. uh I agree. this one does not and um that's 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 been a something that's been happening with the series as i'm watching it it's just the the things that made the franchise are getting less and less in the actual films yeah which is very very weird to me Mm -hmm. um i don't understand why they would do this to a horror franchise with a character that horror fans really connected with Mm -hmm. um it's like if Friday the 13th just started showing Jason for like five minutes. Yeah. And Jason was like, hmm. And then left. Like he just, <laughs> he just like was there to say, you got what you deserved. And then bye. Mm-hmm. 
Um, it's a really weird choice, especially considering what I read about part four, Bloodline, is that uh, Pinhead was not supposed to come into the film until the 40 minute mark, and they didn't like that, so they wanted to bring him in earlier. And then since that film, every other film has had him in it for like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't come in until at least 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. So uh, he he did come in a little early on this one. He had like one little sting, like, Brah. yeah. And then you don't see him for another like 20 minutes, half hour. That's true. Um, it's just a weird, this, as I watch the series, it's a, it's an interesting series. And I think, uh, um, yeah, it might be one of the, one of the worst and it sucks because it really started off well and then it just kind of goes downhill. Oh, what did you think? At first, we thought that the main, like, bad guy, not Pinhead, but the other dude, we the thought... The leader of the cult. Yeah, and I thought he was maybe related to Pinhead, and you called it, actually. Well, yeah, I called it because, like, so this is the... Um, they tried to weave this back around to the original uh, story of part one through four. Because mm -hmm. part one through four all kind of are connected. Mm -hmm. And then you get to five and six and they're not, they have nothing to do with anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, six has has the slightest amount, but not really. Mm -hmm. um, so this one, they try to connect it with um, uh, the leader of the cult is uh, a descendant of the man, the Frenchman who made the French toy maker who made the box mm -hmm. in part four of Bloodline. Gotcha. Um, so they're, they were trying to put it in with the rest of the films. I appreciate the effort. It wasn't there, but I, I appreciate them yeah. trying. Yeah. Right? Sure. I think yeah. it was stupid. I mean, <laughs> but I just, this whole movie is very stupid. Mm -hmm. It's so stupid that when we got to near the end and Pinhead comes into the into this room with the main actress yep. and she says who are you and i swear to god i half expected him to say i am pinhead <laughs> right <laughs> i thought he was going to. <laughs> which now i really want a film where he just says i am pinhead just because it's so stupid and he should never call himself that no um, but to, to hear him call himself that would be fantastic and hilarious to me. It would automatically make me like that movie. It, it would have made me like this movie so much more if he did that. If Doug, just like, they're so Yeah, it's just like if Doug was just like, fuck this, I'm Pinhead <laughs> and I'm here to take your soul. Come on. Look at me. What do you think my yeah. fucking name is? What? Yeah, take a guess. <laughs> take a guess at what my name take is. A, take, you got three guesses. I'm sure you're going to get it. Not Nailhead. No. <laughs> Um, so Danny has kind of sat in with me for one or two of these. Yeah. Um, I think you watched Hell on Earth with me. Yeah. With the, with the CD Cinebite. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I do. Um, and I then. Did. I did. And I, I don't know why. It was a good one. Three was the, like the last real good one. To, to me, three was fun and cheesy. Mm -hmm. Unlike one and two, but it still was fun to watch. Right. Um, the rest have not been fun to watch. Right. Um, you sat in on Inferno. Yes. Um, which was the first morality t morality tale of the series. Yes. Um, and now you're back for this one. Yeah. Do you want to watch any more? Sure. You do? Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm surprised. <laughs> like, because everybody, um, uh, uh, mostly everybody, anybody that's been to our live chats, um, a few of uh, our friends in the live chat have told me not to, <laughs> to go down this road that it will be horrible and it is horrible, but I'm going to continue and I'm going to finish. I got you're, three more to go. You're a glutton for pain, which, which, which fits in nicely with. Yeah. The yeah. I'm, I'm, this is my way of actually being tortured by pinhead yeah. by watching these horrible, horrible late phase Hellraiser films. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, so it ends, it ends. <laughs> it fucking, it just I ends. mean, it doesn't just end, but... I mean, the end is kind of like, oh, okay. The end is pretty dumb. Yeah, it's pretty... pretty like, uh, Pinhead comes back and he kills all of the people in the cult. Yeah. And then he's going, he's like, I, your soul is mine now, main woman, yep. main character. Yep. And she goes, no! And then she just stabs <laughs> herself. She's that, like, not if I'm dead. That's how she got away from him, yep. by killing herself. Yep. Uh, which, sure, sure, okay. but she's sure. Dead. And then at the very, very end, you learn that her boss at the newspaper is, is basically feeding Pinhead. Yeah. Uh, 
He's it, I, and I believe I said you did call that. You said he's a part of it. I'm like he's in on it. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, with this movie, yeah. <laughs> Hey, give me credit though. You get credit. You get Don't credit. Don't be like that was easy. No, no, no. I, I get it. You did it. You you called it. Yep. I you knew, did. I knew a creepy bald Englishman was good. He had be some hair. He had a little bit of hair. No, we had all this was gone on top. There was some hair on that guy's head. Oh, there was the the Doctor Phil <laughs> ring around his head, but that doesn't really fucking count, right? <laughs> um. So let's rate it. Okay, let's rate it. Um. You picked it, so I guess I should rate it. Yeah, it's bad. I still, I still, still find it funny that you picked this movie, another movie that neither of us have seen. I figured it'd be fun. Yeah, you know I mean, it, it's kind of in line with what we're watching, without with my what I'm currently viewing as well. So, well, and I know last night you meant to watch one. Yeah, I didn't get didn't, to watch one last night. So. so, so I wanted to help you catch up. And, okay, and I figured it fit in well with what we we're gonna do anyway. So. True, and it is the Halloween season. It is. So in this podcast is going into spooky mode. That's always been in spooky mode. It's it's been in spooky mode, but 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 it's very spooky mode. There will not very spooky uh, episodes, live streams. They're all going to be horror films. All spooky. All spooky all, all the, the time. time. Spooky bat channel. Spooky bat YouTube channel. <laughs> sure. Um, I don't. I gave Hellseeker a one. Oh, wow. And I like this less. Oh, shit. So. It's a zero? I mean, but I also, but but also, like, <laughs> I'm going to give it a one as well, just okay. because, like, I don't know. I, I There was some enjoyment in the overacting. It was just funny. It, it, it made me think about Pinhead saying, I am Pinhead. <laughs> <laughs> and and that, was, that makes me laugh. It was somewhat predictable. It was very predictable. Um, it didn't, it didn't utilize the, the Cenobites one. I'm giving, I'm sticking with the one, same as Hellseeker. Okay. I, I yeah. I'm gonna give it, a, I'm gonna give it a one. A one as well? Yeah. Yeah. It's just not good. It's just um, not good. If you want to put it on the background. I don't know. Unless oh, you, really? unless you're like being a. Hellraiser completionist like me. Yeah. Um. If if you really <laughs> want to watch all of the films in the franchise, do it. Uh. If you don't, then don't. Don't watch this one. Watch, watch Hellraiser one, two, and three, mm -hmm. and maybe Bloodline. Um. Maybe. But one, two, and three are the best ones for sure. Okay. Yeah. I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. We actually got an episode that's not a live episode. That's good. Um, sorry to all of our listeners uh, if you've missed us these past two episodes. Yeah. We have done them um, as live streams on the YouTube channel. Um, but, you know, that we just did it for those two weeks. We're not going to continue to do that. We are back this week. We'll be back next week yes. with a actual episode as well. Um, this but, is an actual episode. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. We got one this week. We're going to have one next week. Okay, okay. Um, if you are just listening... Um, Please go to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Will Krupinski, and uh, check out the live stream episodes, because I think they were pretty fun. Mm -hmm. um, or come join us on a live stream. We are also on Twitch, twitch.tv slash pod. You can look at the, watch the live streams there. Live streams are every Tuesday and Saturday night. Yeah, we're going to, when this comes out, we're going to be having a live stream. Yeah, this will be out, and we'll have a live stream uh, tonight. Mm -hmm. So um, that lot will probably be back to our um, game scary yeah. story okay. live streams. We haven't done that in a few weeks, so yeah. we'll get back to that. Um, any news in your world? Uh, just working at the haunt, and that's about it. Just <laughs> working hard. Um, that and working on stuff for FearCon, which is next week. Yes, uh, and you will also be there. We will be at FearCon. Um, um, FearCon is also going on Saturday, so I don't know if you'll be doing the stream. Maybe we can stream from FearCon. Uh, I, you are more than welcome to do that. We'll we'll figure it out. Um, but we will be at FearCon in Phoenix. I believe it's in Phoenix, yeah. Yeah, uh, was That's it right. October 14th and 15th? 15th, 15th 16th? 15th, 16th. 15th, 16th. Yeah. Um, we will be there. Uh, we will, I, I don't think we will have our own table. But we'll be chilling out at a table. Yeah, we, we, we have we are we will be vending. We so, don't really so, have so find us in the vendor hall if you're gonna be there. Yes, yes. Um, otherwise, 
Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your spooky month. Spooky month. Spooky month. I hope you're enjoying life. I yes. hope everything is going well for you. Yes. And if not, I hope that you get through it and everything goes well for you soon. Yes. So from us at Why Would You Show Me This, thank you for listening and watching. Enjoy a movie or two, and we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.